This is a moment of sadness for the loved ones of a teenager who left Syria only to die on the European Union's doorstep. The funeral's being hosted by volunteers and streamed back home by phone. He's telling them, I know you wanted to see him for one last time, but there's not much they can do. Ahmed al Hassan is said to have drowned in a river. One more casualty as the EU-Belarus border crisis continues to spiral. On Tuesday, Polish authorities turned water cannon on crowds of migrants at one crossing who threw rocks and bottles and other debris back. The Polish government says a police officer is believed to have a fractured skull. There are thousands of migrants on the border, and violence like this may not stop anytime soon. The Polish government says it's preparing for a scenario where this goes on for months and may need to launch formal discussions with its allies in NATO. It says it's had to deploy 20,000 in reinforcements from the police, border guard, and army. Poland and the EU are continuing their claim that the crisis is being orchestrated by Belarus to destabilize them, which Belarus denies. The Iraqi government has also now become involved. Baghdad says it's trying to organize flights for Iraqis in the Belarus capital to come back and has already booked up to 200 people to return. Back at the funeral, the volunteers, a local Muslim community, are preparing for the worst. They say with winter coming, they're gathering as much food and clothing as they can to prevent more funerals from occurring.